Hello, musicians, and welcome to the show. I haven't waffled. Oh, Romeo's crying already. Romeo is really pleased because the other Romeo, who's my grandson, has just left. And uh, Romeo the cat was quite put out <laughs> because Romeo the human child, my grandson, uh, took Romeo the cat's space on the bed and um, he really wasn't happy about it. He was really jealous. <laughs> so he's really glad now that the human child has left. Anyway, I feel really inspired. And do you know what? The beginning of last week, I had a real low because I felt things, you know, business wise were just chugging, chugging. And being an author is quite a lonely pastime, you know, and I and you're quite out of a loop. And I've been looking at modernising my output for a long time. And as you know, it's a bit noisy in the garden, I'm afraid. There's a lot of kids around here today. Um, and yeah, I was kind of looking for a way to engage a new audience, but with the same stories. OK, so all the various stories that I'm writing at the moment um, and I just couldn't see a way out of this sort of locked in cycle of making animations that are quite samey and they're very therapeutic because of, you know, all the hypnotist stuff I was doing. But I, I did feel that had kind of I'd filled the vacuum that I had at the time for that. And you do run out business wise if you don't keep fresh and, you know, up to date and, you know, with all the latest sort of things. So. My grandson came to stay and he's nearly 10 and he was doing that. He was playing Roblox and he was trying to, you know, he was using the creative studio and trying to do a game. And I said to him, because he said, can you help me, grandma, blah, blah, blah. And I, he was on the phone today. We were just, I was taking him back to his mum and I, I just thought, do you know what? Actually, because I was quizzing him and he said, no, you can create your own games on there and you don't need to do any complicated coding I thought well yeah they all say that but actually when it comes to characterization if I want to create characters specific to my book um I will there will be coding requirements but you can outsource that you can actually get um designers to do that for you and and because I don't once it starts getting all mesh and this and that I get really confused um you know, there's already so much to do when you create a, a world, you know, with all its nuances. So all of these these characters that I create verbally li in terms of literature, writing, they take nearly all the time that I have. So trying to learn a completely new skill like creating 3D characters is not something I'm prepared to do. However, creating a Roblox game is something now I see that I am prepared to do because you can call it what you like. You own it. Blah, 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 blah. So I feel really elated today. I suddenly feel, wow. Anyway, my my grandson was saying that he really likes anime. Now, I've been resistant to anime because I just find it a bit boring. But he finds it really exciting. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to take I'm going to start looking at the world through a 10 year old's eyes. Um, and I can do anime really easily with all my AI. Really, really easily. I'm going to do one today. I'm going to create. Uh, an anime book, uh, film rather, as part of this episode of Immersion. I think it's uh, Strata 9. So I'm going to just go manga. I'm just going to throw myself into manga. Um, for, the first thing I had to do just now is what's the difference between anime and manga? So I'm going to tell you, actually, because then it'll maybe sink into my brain. Manga and anime, anime sorry, both often use similar distinctive illustration styles. OK, get that. Yeah, because I wouldn't have known that there was a difference. But the word manga specifically refers to Japanese style graphic novels. So book length comic books. I'm going to probably at some point produce books, but I haven't done it yet. And it's, you know, I produce books, but they're all literature based. They're, they don't have graphics. But I do pro I do produce animations. Anime. Anime refers to the genre of Japanese style 2D, 2D animation. This is my thing. This is what I do. I do that. I was thinking, God, I do that. I do that anyway. In other words, manga are books, while anime consists of shows and movies. Whoa. I just thought, whoa. OK. So I can do a narration using AI. I'm not, I'm not using myself because, it, you know, all the problems that I talked about previously of losing my voice, um, the distant vibrations from the neighbours, all of that stuff. But the biggest one was actually losing my voice. 
um, especially when you start doing more takes than one, you know, you, you lose your voice very, very quickly, especially I'm, because I'm on amitriptyline and that dries your throat um, and you can hear it. You can hear, you know, the coarseness in my vocal cords. Well, this sounds really exciting. I'm actually on a bit of a roll. So I've been looking at um, how to build Roblox and there was a site, you can sign up to a site and it's Fourteen ninety nine for a single um, uh, subscription and nineteen ninety nine for a family. And I thought I could get, get all the family involved, you know. But then I went on to find loads and loads of, as per, as, as we always find out, as we found out with Logic Pro, you don't need lessons, you just need YouTube. And there are loads of stuff on YouTube which appear to show me exactly what to do. So I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for it. I'm going to start creating, um, is it, what is it, anime, not manga. I'm going to start creating anime cartoons today. Um, and my, I mean, my, my illustrations are not manga. The um, Rat, Rat Gang Crew. And I don't think I, I don't think I want to create drawings manga drawings they don't really I, I just don't think there's any skill involved I'm sorry guys but I just don't I think they're boring and I'm not prepared to do that however a, an animation that is going to boost my my company boost the Telltale Club add a bit of excitement and interest to all things to bring my my you know my business model up to date and make it really current and also of course to get my grandson really impressed <laughs> so well, it's just too exciting. It really is. So um, that's where I'm going today. So I've actually I've added a um, what do they call it? A category of podcast, which was I think ma I think it was manga and anime actually something like that. So I've added that to this podcast. So f we will now be doing. I'll be talking to you. I'm going to you know, you can follow my journey from start to finish. So this is the first one. This is the first part of my journey. And what I'm going to do is every night before I go to bed, at the moment I do, I draw for a couple of hours. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to donate an hour a night to my Roblox creation. And I'll be able to talk about things, you know, the problems that I found and how easy it was. It was really interesting, actually, because we, we just went to McDonald's to meet my brother and to introduce my grandson to his cousin. And he he took his um, iPad thing, you know, his tablet, which has it's got Roblox on it. And I said, oh, well, you, you won't need that. You're going to meet your cousin. And he said, oh, I want to take it, I want to take it. Anyway, we got there and his cousin was on his and he was playing Roblox as well. So Roblox is phenomenal amongst children, it would appear. And I've been wanting to captivate a child audience for a long time. I've got Toddle Poddle, which is captivating for very young children. And then I've got young adults with the, you know, the immersion series and the Rat Gang crew. But I've, you know, I want something that engages that that middle group, you know, of maybe sort of eight to 12 and then 12 to 16 that, you know, and hopefully I'll be able to make two different games, Roblox games, that are especially for either age bracket. Do you see what I mean? If you get if you get people's interest young, you've got them when they're older as well and when they have their children. It's a really good business model. It's a really good business idea like Disney. You know, Disney starts very, very young and it goes up through the ages. And Disney now also makes adult films, uh, not a head. head perish the thought not those sort of films but films for you know 18 plus as well so not just for children and I just think this is a really you know a really sensible business model you don't you basically you create your client and you never lose them you they grow with you yeah um so yeah I'm beyond excited today so for the first time I'm going to be putting manga anime and roblox in my title and hoping that you guys will, who are listening to us will um, hop on board and, and follow my journey. Start tonight. So tomorrow's um, podcast, um, we'll, we'll, one of them at least, we'll be talking about that. So a bit less music, yeah, and a bit more, a bit more anim animation, you know, and the pitfalls and what, the the problems that I have. So um, I guess the first thing for me to tell you, the first thing that I have learnt today, apart from 
the difference between manga and anime is that you need the Roblox Create Studio. You need to download it. You can get it on Mac. You can get it on um, Windows uh, PC. So no problem. I was a bit worried this morning that I couldn't do it on a Mac. But you can. But you will need a keyboard. You need your keys. So you can't do it, unfortunately, on iPad. Um, so that's the biggest thing to to pass on, the knowledge to pass on to you guys. Now, I will today, tonight, I will set up my... Um, my ID and or whatever it's called, you know, my um, profile. And if you're listening to this podcast, um, it's probably going to be Telltale Club unless somebody's already got that. But I'll see what I'll see what's going on, and and I will tell you. And you can add me. I'm already on Discord actually, which um, I know is a lot of gamers use Discord. And my grandson added me on Discord. I thought, oh, finally, someone will talk to me on it. Because I, I tried using Discord initially for sort of music and DJ stuff. It's not really what it was built for. And one thing I have found uh, after all my years of piddling around with various social media um, or or various um, interactive sites, you know, so, oh, my cat's snoring, such as Discord and Facebook and Instagram, they all have a type. And they all have a purpose and they like to stick within that sort of purpose. They're actually quite narrow. And Discord was built especially for gamers. But there are quite a lot of, I mean, I found Discord through Shapeyard because I was looking for 3D, 3D models. So there are, there is a lot of that. But then the, these 3D models are, are used in gaming. Do you see what I mean? So there's that, you know, that connect there. Um, so, yeah, I'm beyond excited. So um, gran- grannies are suddenly become... She started the weekend a writer and I finished a, a game designer, although I haven't actually designed my game yet, but I will, I will. 